from Alton Towers and more and today we're doing something for Christmas again it's vlogmas day 8 and today we're putting the decorations up for Christmas so we've got the tree up there uh, which looks really nice say what last night we was looking through uh, boxes and stuff everywhere for lights wasn't we and we found a really long strip of lights to go across the fence outside so uh, we've got quite a big day today but uh, yeah it's looking quite snowy outside some snow clouds maybe so we might see a bit of snow, maybe. It's quite frosty outside as well. Um, so Nana's going to go shopping for some clips for the fence so we can put some lights on. But in the meantime, we're going to start by doing the other decorations of the inside. So let's get started. So a little look at the start then. So we've got two snowflakes here for the windows. We need to replace the batteries in them. A couple of little houses there. And on this sideboard, she's, Nana's going to have um, a modelled village for Christmas. And uh, yeah, that'll look really nice. And we've got a couple of little houses here. They're not they're not model ones. They're just candle ones, aren't they? But uh, we're gonna have some lights around the mirror. What Nana's doing there? Uh, getting ready. In here, we've uh, already got some bits up already, which Nana's put up. Um, uh, just a little sculpture. I don't know what this would be called. It's quite interesting. That I bet that was expensive, Nana. Twenty five pounds. Twenty five pounds. That it. Years ago. Yeah. Jesus. I bet it would be a lot more now. Yeah, we've got some lights here. I'll tell you what, let's just switch them on. There we go, they look nice, don't they? I like the orange effect which goes off on the walls as well, fades away. These two decorations are very 90s style, something someone would have in the 90s or the 80s. Um, they came with the Christmas tree box uh, from last year, I think, the last time we had it up. Here's a picture of me on the Polar Express when I was little. Uh, not, we've just recently been on the Polar Express as well, so go check out that vlog. It's even got a little model of the train on the bottom as well, which is quite cool. And it switches on. Uh, there'll be a switch here. I don't think it'll work though. No, it won't. Okay. Um, and yeah, down here we've got some, just a couple of bags, which were upstairs. And I've got plenty more to get out the loft. The tree, you've already seen. Some uh, nice little bits here, which Nana's put out for us. So a candle there. We've got these around this candle, and then you've got a Coca-Cola thing. Where's that from? America? No. No? You've DHL. Had it given to him. It's a collectible one, I think. It's got Coke in it. So it's from DHL. Uh, we've got some tinsel here, some classic Christmas colours. I know Nana wants a nice classic Christmas again. Some nice lights here as well. I think they were, they're quite posh, they are. <laughs> uh, some lights here. They're either going on the mirror in there or the staircase. But we've got some tinsel to put on the staircase. And we've also got some garland to put over here. So we'll have to move the nano, the picture of Nana next to a helicopter in Las Vegas. But uh, yeah, here she is, look, putting stuff up already. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to fit. Oh, she's knocking things off now. That looks quite nice, to be fair. Oh, no. You can do extra taller. <laughs> All right, pass it here. Right, then, so I've got to go to my favourite place now, the loft. Uh, so you know my history with that loft. Let's get up there. Right, then, so I'm in the loft. So we've probably got Nana running around down there. And, uh, yeah, we've got quite a lot to take down. So let's get a start, really. Let's get a move on. Here you are, Nana. Oh, there we go. Uh, one more of the uh, reindeer. A little one. It's a straw one. Can you reach? There you go. Oh, Ralph Box, that's it. <laughs> All right, what we've got? Uh, oh, that's Halloween stuff. Uh, oh, another Christmas bag. All right, we've got a big bag coming down. Get ready. Right then, so we've got some bits here, which I've just managed to get down, and some uh, some lights there, which look really old and posh. 
And Nana's already just taking some more bits down, and we've got some bits in the garage as well, so we uh, probably have to fish some things out of there. Nana's getting a modelled village out now, look. Oh, Jesus, it's got a lot in there, isn't there? So these all got lights in them. Oh, look at that. It's got a massive street. Do you want me to put the light on? Look at these. They look very posh. I have I, I haven't seen this in a while. I don't know, I ain't seen them. I've bought the box with you. For the, uh... I don't know. They'll probably be over there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> this looks really nice, this does. And there we go, got the train station lit up. That looks amazing, that does. That's really nice. They've got little bits in the window. Looks really nice, that does, Nana. Mm. You having them on each side, there's candles. Should we just uh, get a bit of an outer shot? Just come outside and it's very gently snowing. That was perfect timing. There, so that is snow you can see right there. <laughs> How weird is that? And a little trick, you see the smoke that comes out your house? Uh, I've got a light in that window which shines on it and it makes a colourful northern lights effect, so we'll be doing that at night time. And, uh, so yeah, it's got very little thin bits of snow coming down right now, which is quite interesting. That's quite cool, that is. So I'll uh, keep you updated if it snows even more. Got some tinsel around there, I think it's supposed to go more outside of it. Um, well, that's fine. We'll uh, change that later if we need to. Because uh, I'm going to probably use some blue tack on that because it really won't want to stay on. But, uh, yeah, just put another bag down of uh, Christmas decorations. We've got so much tinsel as well in some of these bags to put all around the door frames and stuff and the pictures. So uh, let's get cracking. So I've got these chains here, which I made last year. And if anyone watched the... Uh, Up and Towers and More talk show last night. I had some of these up in the studio, the uh, temporary studio. So, uh, yeah. And these literally just sit across the fireplace. I must have spent ages making these, there's a lot. In fact, I don't think they're. Oh, it's two separate chains. Hang on. There we go. They're a bit scrunched up because they've been in the attic, scrunched up in a bag. But uh, hopefully. Oh, falling down. What I'll do, I'll get some cellar tape on these. Got the chains up on the mantelpiece with these brand new bushy things which we ain't had up in years. And uh, they look really nice. Next thing I'm going to do is put some tinsel around the door frames, uh, just some around the top of them and some of the photos as well like them. So uh, let's get started. some tinsel on top of the French doors underneath the projector screen and uh, that looks really nice that does um, that went on a lot easier than I thought I didn't even need to use blue tack or sellotape or anything uh, literally there's a gap between the door frame and the uh, wall just there and it literally just went slotted in there so in fact, if I just put it out a bit more there there you go and that looks a lot better and uh, starting to look a bit Christmassy now got a very big mess and uh, I've got some uh, another snowflake to put in this window. I've got one in the upstairs window as well. Snowflake is on, it just needs pushing a bit more to the window, so I'll probably put some blue tape, blue tack on it or some sellotape or something. But, um, yeah, it's falling off now. Right, so I've got some uh, tinsel up there. Snowflake's finally on the window. Even got some lights in the vase down there. Um, and, yeah. 
Got some uh, red little Christmas trees down here now. Just underneath the Christmas fireplace over here. And we've got another fireplace over there to put some garland on. And, uh, yeah, it's looking quite nice in here now. And then I ain't done much, to be fair, yet. Uh, you wouldn't just walk into the house and say it's Christmas. Uh, still got all this. I haven't even opened that bag yet. So, uh, yeah, I've got quite a lot to do. Got some uh, chains up there on the projector screen. Not my favourite thing, I don't think, these uh, chains on there. Um, the only reason I had to do it quite like that is because it would just come down, like, just dangled in there and you won't be able to go through the door without it going around like crazy. But uh, it'll have to do for now. We can move it later if we want to. More little bit of thin tinsel on the door frame there just to go the extra mile, really. But it's starting to look Christmassy. So then we've got this little tree here, which just sits on the mantelpiece, just like that. And uh, it's a nice little tree, I think. Uh, it's one of the trees we've got. And uh, we've got one, two, three, four Christmas trees. So we've got a big one outside to put up as well today. And uh, I'm actually really excited now to put the lights going down the fence. Because uh, obviously, as you can see, that's quite a long way. It's um, quite a few metres. You can see the size of the bin over there the blue bin but uh yeah i've got a lot of lights to put up on there and these are just going to be these ones in the blue stuff there honestly it's so long it literally goes across the length of the house uh, we measured it last night also got these really posh looking lights here uh they're very old i think and uh, they were 28 pounds probably a lot more now uh so we need to test them but we can't find the right plug so but yeah nana said i think nana might get something when she goes uh, shopping to get some clips for the fence lights. Just opened this bag and wow, there's a lot of stuff in there. So I've got, I need to make some room somewhere for a lot of this Christmas stuff in this bag. There is just so much in there. Just, and uh, I don't even know what's in here. There's always oh, some like, light, present lights in there. So uh, let's get this these bags open. Out of one of the black bags, we've got this really long thing. This actually goes up here on the archway and uh, literally just sits like that. I suppose what we could do actually, this will look nice if we attached it across like that. This will look nice, this wood. Oh, I think it's gonna fall. Oh no, there we go. Oh, yeah, it fell. That's okay. Uh, so yeah, that looks really nice. There. And uh, that's just some like red Christmassy flowers. These push into the wall. And I like how the uh, little berries like crawl around as well. So that's really nice. Right then, so the mantelpiece has been cleared uh, to put some garland on it. So uh, this is the garland that stretches across the mantelpiece. Uh, I thought the garland went on the staircase, but um, no, that was tinsel with some nice lights. So uh, let's get this garland on. Okay, so after having a bit of tidy up, we've got just some of the bags there we're finished with. Uh, we've still got a few more bits to put up, like loads and loads of lights, garland, some bits and bobs over there. There's so much going all day, all this stuff here. We've even got some massive presents here, like Lightopia art and towers themed, especially them ones. Uh, so these, uh, I think these ones sit outside, which will be quite cool. So uh, for the little light show we're going to be doing, Lightopia on the front, that would be quite cool, that will. And uh, I've also got these, I'm not too sure what these are for. I think they just sit around like a candle or something. I'll find out. So then we're outside, we've got the lights plugged in. And uh, Nana's now nailing the clips into the fence. And they're going to go all the way down there. So uh, we should have enough. And then you just put another one. You've got about two, about 100. How many's in them? Uh, I don't know. You've got 200 clips. 200 clips in one box? No, one bit in the box. Oh, right. Well, that's still quite good. Yeah, just I know what you mean. Okay, and then... So, if you want... Right, I'll leave it to it. Right, I'll see you. <laughs> and after a good hour, the fence is completed with all them lights. You have no idea, guys, how um, stressful that was. I'm joking, it wasn't very stressful. It was actually quite fun, to be fair. Uh, yeah, it was, I would recommend doing something like this. It's really good. Uh, it's plugged in by the box, as you saw. And uh, they look really nice, I think. The only thing is I ran out, as you can see, just over there. So there's them last three panels, which um, didn't go quite right, unfortunately, because I ran out of lights, but it's fine. 
it, no one well, the, that fence will be blocking the view from there anyway so you'll only be able to see these lights going down here which is completely fine to be fair but uh, yeah the bins I'm about to move them onto the gravel because we will be putting our house display light display um, on very shortly uh, when it gets dark that will be switched on and uh, in a minute I'm about to get everything out ready and the big Christmas tree there as well don't forget that and uh, yeah you can even see the stars there it's a little look in the house for you can't really see much to be fair because the window reflection but yeah it looks quite good i think that does just literally nailed them to the wall well the wall the, the fence with a hammer and it went perfect here's a little look at the uh thingy for tonight it's actually the uh smoke effect which i'm actually going to be using a uh, little life hack for you so i'm going to be using my uh, disco lights and this is a massive cloud of smoke uh, literally just covering a bit of the driveway here and literally the light shines on it and it makes the northern lights so it basically colors the smoke up at night time it looks amazing trust me guys you will like it and just like that the setup's getting ready we've got the big tree out and on the only thing is the star had snapped off uh the glue had snapped off from it unfortunately um I'm not, i think it was just put in the garage really awkwardly but uh so uh, yeah but that looks really nice uh, i've had to like mask it tape so it does look a bit strange on the top <laughs> but i'm sure it'll be fine i can like draw it over it in black or something but uh yeah that looks good i can't even reach the top look i mean i can try oh i can't even reach the star <laughs> but there we go you got the lights going down the fence as well that looks really nice that does right then so we finally got i found the bag with the projectors and the lights in now these three lights are from costco i believe and they are so posh and they have literally got glass on them and uh, last year we had them up there so i'm assuming we're going to have them again this year up there as well as that we've got the presents out this year we didn't have them out last year um because uh, i don't know why we didn't have them out last year but uh so yeah we're going to see if they work because they've never been tested before and uh yeah we're looking forward to that so it'd be like a little lightopia really want it because it does look like a lantern and light opia then presents they do remind me of that so i've just got the ladder out i have no idea why nana's parked right there so uh, we're gonna get the lights yeah they are from costco it does say costco on there so uh, i bet they were quite a bit as well because they really do look posh so you say costco things can be quite pricey but uh they can be quite nice <laughs> okay this is risky for me because i don't like ladders whatsoever a step at the top i think i'm gonna be okay oh i don't like this hello good nana i've got to put lights around there that'd be nice and then we've got a little merry christmas thing here as well with some snowman that looks nice that does with the uh village there as well the only thing is the exercise equipment looks makes it look a little bit messy but it'll be fine and it's got some more lights. Matter of lights I've seen today. Jesus. I think this year, the only thing I'm seeing at Christmas is lights. All right, so just gonna put these, these colorful lights, which are in the studio actually upstairs, onto the mirror, which will look really nice. Just like that, it's dark. Uh, we decided to take the tree down because it did not look right really, because it, the lights, they were like all tangled up and stuff. So. We might in the future, like in a, about a week maybe, we'll probably um, get it back out and we'll uh, sort it all out. We'll take our time with it. But uh, yeah, the really looks nice, these lights though. I really like these, I've found out. These are actually uh, about nearly 30 years old, I think. Yeah, they're from Costco. Sorry, they're really bright on camera. Yeah, The reef as well looks really nice. And uh, yeah, and then you got these lights going down the fence at night time they're all lit up which look really nice as well and uh, i've also put a green light from the window upstairs up onto the uh, gravel which is covering all the gravel on the driveway so uh, yeah the uh fortunately like i said it doesn't cover all of the fence the lights but uh yeah it's a uh, it's okay though because it is not too bad to be fair i mean at least it covered most of it but uh yeah, it looks pretty nice. There is a snowflake up there, as you can see. There's one of these. But, uh, oh, there you go. They're flashing now, look. 
and uh, Nana can actually change them with her phone as well, which is quite cool. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, the snowflake up there, it's the same one of these except a colourful one. Uh, the batteries aren't working and, and I think it's gone really rusty, so it needs a good clean, really. So it's like a mini Lightopia, really, isn't it? So I like these uh, presents here. They're something to get in Lightopia, aren't they? Just another little look at it. I really like how I did the uh, lights as well, and I really like my uh, disco light, like how it comes to the rescue, sort of. Just at last minute thinking. But uh, yeah, looks really nice. Back outside again and yeah i've just uh, managed to pull off the old window effect which i did for halloween uh, it had a green like a really spooky green lights in these windows so i did it again up there as you can see which looks really nice i'll tell you what i'll do i'll just come out a little bit it's a bit zoomed in and took the camera unfortunately it's uh oh it's a bit bright as well from the light into it there you go it's quite good and uh, yeah, we'll have a look inside then. Right then, so as we come to the near the end of the day, uh, I'll just give you a little tour of everything we've got. We've still got some more tinsel to put up on the stairs. Uh, so we've got some chains on the projector. Final look at them, now everything's tidy and out of the way. Honestly, the difference where the boxes are everywhere and now it's all nice and tidy. Uh, we're actually gonna move these to the shelves, some up there and some up there. So, uh, yeah, I've got Santa there, by the way. Uh, sorry, that's none of doing the hoover, by the way. That's that sound. Some bears here. I don't think these were on the um, thingy uh, earlier. The bear there as well. And uh, some tinsel on the shelves. We've got the tree out as well over here. The little tree. Reindeer are all out now. And the presents as well. I'm not going to put them in because... Electricity, I don't want to keep switching things on and off. Tree looks nice. Uh, we've got these up here. Countdown to Christmas down there. Uh, I like what Nana did there as well with the festive thing. Uh, finally, by the way, I forgot to show you this. The garland on the mantelpiece in the living room, which is now up. Looks really nice. And the lights over here are on as well. And, uh, yeah. Oh, one more thing. It says Xmas down here on the uh, radiator cover, which needs going on the radiator. <laughs> um, but uh, and there's some tinsel on the bookshelf as well. Right then, so I'm in a, an, uh, I'm in a very loud kitchen. Here we go. It's a bit quiet over here. Let's have a little look at the modelled village. Then does this switch on? I'm sure this switch is on somewhere. Yeah, underneath it. There we go. That looks really nice. Muddled village then. So, little house there. Train station. I like the little wonky windows as well. And uh, that's another little house there. Some tinsel and that a lot around the mirror. And some lights. And also, Merry Christmas here from Walton Towers and More. And, uh, oh yeah, and some tinsel going around there, and a Coca-Cola truck for Christmas. In the hallway, I've got a Merry Christmas sign here, and a Merry Christmas sign there. The exact same one, as you can see. I'll just take it out a bit. Same ones there, I'm not too sure why there's two, because that's the only really place we could put one of these, I think. Unless you want to put it on the toilet sign. Just one final look then, at all of the cosy Christmas stuff. And it's uh, night time. It always looks best at night time, doesn't it? It does look really nice. I really like the uh, new addition of the modelled village in there as well this year. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it does all look really nice. Uh, them presents could do switching on, to be fair. But uh, just don't want to put too much on. Because, you know, electricity. All the uh, lights outside, they've all been set up together, apart from this one here. And they're all timed. And you can turn them on with Alexa. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, which is quite cool, isn't it, Nana? The uh, lights, you can uh, turn them on and off. They can be timed, can't they, with Alexa? 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, this actually went off the other day on, my, on its own. So yeah, so Nana's moving these now. Let's see where she's gonna put them. So these are proper 90 style, aren't they? Them. Yeah. Right then, so that was the uh, Christmas decorations and the lights, as you can see. Uh, that's been a really nice day doing all these. Um, it'll be great if that smoke, <laughs> the smoke machine, as I call it, it's actually just from the uh, heating, uh, switched on right now. Um, literally, we've even got the blue lights here for turnarounds, but it's blue. But uh, yeah, it'd be great if that uh, central heating smoke came on and the light shone on it, because it makes an actual like, blue smoke effect, which is really cool. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching the uh, vlog, putting up these Christmas decorations and uh, also these lights as well, which run all the way down the driveway. I've still got three panels which need doing really, but I can't really get enough lights for it. Uh, like and subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out when we upload another video. If you're liking the vlog series, then uh, just uh, enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.